Hi everyone, and welcome to our first ever Code for Kids robotics course. Today, I will take you through lesson two of the four lessons in the course. In this lesson, we are going to get Kip to move in different directions according to the cardinal points. This is a great way to link geography and map work. Please take note of the image on the, in the bottom right hand side of the screen because this is what task zero must end up looking like. Later in the lesson, we are also looking at object oriented programming where we introduce a few more robots and they are given specific commands to complete their tasks. In task zero, Kip can move in different directions. Press run and then draw in the cardinal or compass points north, south, east and west. He's already going north and east and west and you will see that he also does something a little bit strange and goes northeast as well. In this instance, we've actually only left out a few of the variables for the learners to fill in and to complete. And further down below, you'll see where they start filling in the variables to complete the sub cardinal points. So once they've done the green and he's gone this direction, he's going to need to carry on and to create the south point. He's going to return and go east. Now we've got the first cardinal point, northeast, and we can carry on and complete that. Learners complete final point, which is southeast, by adding their own lines of code from lines 41 onwards. In task one, we have Kip creating right angle triangles and learners are also implementing their knowledge of halving and double. So our first triangle length is four. In triangle two, draw a blue triangle that has the sides double the length of triangle one. So in this instance, we are going to make sure that we change the color of Kip's line. And we can do the exact same thing again for the red triangle, but this time it's going to be half the size of the first triangle. And there's your three triangles. Our two reads, Kip can also fill shapes with different colors. In row two, we're going to see what happens. Kip moves along, changes color, and fills the different shapes in the right color. But in the middle row, he's made some mistakes. So we now need to help him and debug. So going down to line 32, you can see it's got a color change. And in this case, we're going to go and fill in this red triangle. So we'll go and change that to red. In the last one, we need to go and fill in the shapes according to the outline of each color. So we're going to move Kip up another row. So we're going to say move not one, but two in this variable. And after he's moved north two, we'll need him to head off east. In task three, we start to introduce two new robots. We've got Zip and Ziggy. The learners take note to change the objects in each command. We're going to press run and see what our robots can do. Kip is pink this time, but he has changed this to red. Over here we have Ziggy. He's going to turn his line on. He's going to change his color because you can see in the middle there he's actually blue. So we want him to change his color to green. Now it's very important if they go and copy and paste that they must make sure that they change their object to be zip and not to be kip, otherwise it won't work. Finally, we're going to do the same for Ziggy.
and our three robots have completed their task. We're going to move on to task number four. In this task, the race is on and Kip is pink. And Kip likes to fill the squares in pink. So we're going to run and we're going to see our little robots off they go. And they are getting up, lined up to go and fill up their shapes. So Kip has already moved one. He's already filled his shape and he's already moved one. He's already pink, so there's no need to change his color. He then needs to go and carry on moving and navigating all the way. Now that Kip has completed his shapes, we can move on to Zip. Here is Zip, he is green. Zip needs to go and fill the green triangles. So we're going to move him. He doesn't only want to go two spaces, but he actually wants to four spaces, so he can Once again, we need to make absolutely sure that it is zip each time. And each time we can go and watch Kip do his thing. Now zip does his thing. And here comes the big challenge. Make Ziggy fill all the circles with the correct color. So we go down and we see here is Ziggy. Here is his commands. And when we run, we'll see Ziggy move towards the purple circle. He will then need to go and change his color to purple because he's blue at the moment. And then he will move one. He will fill the shape. He will carry on moving one. And he can do this in any order as long as they go and fill in those circles. And finally, there goes Ziggy, completing all the circles. And that's the end of task four. And now for the challenge. Challenge one, come on, Kip who is red, to write the initials of, his, of your name. So this is where the learners can now do something that is unique to them. They can create their initials. We press run. And because they, he can now move at diagonals, he can do lots of different letters. So there is, is K. Your learners can simply go and select Kip's code and remove it and go and create their own. And then finally, you've got the other robot, which is Zip, and Zip is going to zip all the way around the edges and go and fill in those shapes. Remember that the triangle isn't yellow, but it is orange. And this is a great little challenge to finish. That's the end of lesson two, and we are sure your learners are going to love the second lesson. Good luck.